34 people have been confirmed dead and 59 others injured in a motor accident involving two buses uh, around midnight at Dompoise near Komenda in the central region. Uh, one of the buses was traveling from Takrade to Accra and the other the opposite direction. The Takrade bound bus is reported to have tried overtaking but uh, collided with the other bus, oncoming bus, but uh, both drivers among those who lost their lives. Personnel from the Ghana National Fire Service from Cape Coast rescued some of the injured persons and transported them uh, to the Central Regional Hospital where they are receiving treatment while the dead have been conveyed to the hospital's morgue. Well, let's get to the telephone lines now and speak with the public relations officer of the Cape Coast Teaching uh, Regional Hospital, Frederick uh, Yanka, uh, joining us. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Thank you very much. So uh, tell me how your facility has been able to manage the situation with the numbers. Okay, good afternoon. Um, around 2 a.m., we, we started receiving um, victims from the accident, and immediately the... Accident and emergency unit had to call in some doctors and nurses who were off duty to come and assist. And so we, we called in more personnel and they, they managed to bring the situation down. Mm -hmm. Currently, um, we, ha we treated about 54 um, victims from the accident and we've also received 34 dead bodies coming from the accident scene. It must uh, be it must be a pretty busy day uh, for you. I mean, I, I reckon whether on a regular basis you do receive such huge numbers. Uh, can you tell us, uh, for example, from the time you received the distress call up to the time the bodies and the injured were coming in, how you adapted to uh, be able to cope with the influx? Okay, so like I said earlier, we, we called in... We, we, had an, we had an excellent call and we called in a few other personnel to come and help. Mm. And then um, we also had to quickly take care of those who can be treated and discharged yeah. and then those who can be treated and sent to the ward. And so that has been going on um, between 2 a.m. till now. Mm. And so for those who can quickly go to the ward, we send them to the ward. And, and those who can be treated quickly and discharged, that has been done. Mm. And those uh, under critical condition who may need oxygen and other stuff are also there. We are also using our ICU units to support the, the whole operation. Mm. What, what, so, I, what I actually needed to establish was whether your facility, your facility had the capacity in terms of human resources and whether you were not overstretched. You've explained clearly that you had to call for help uh, for other staff uh, personnel to come. What I wanted to establish was whether irrespective of that, uh, you were not overstretched in terms of your daily routine. Um, you know, the calling for other staff, our uh, own staff who are off duty. And so normally uh, during the night session, we, we have a number of staff who were there, but the, the victims that were coming were a bit overwhelming, so we had to call in for other staff who were off duty, and they came in to, to help. And so they worked throughout the night to, to help bring the situation down. I know it might be pretty too early to establish the cause of uh, death for uh, these numbers who came in, about 34 of them. But are you able to give us a fair idea of the uh, condition in which uh, these uh, dead people were brought in? Uh, unfortunately, I am preventing people from taking pictures, but the scene is very bad. Mm. We, we, we have broken limbs and some. Uh, the situation is very bad. It's a very situation good thing. very bad and uh, very yes, gory. It's so a very good thing. you are very, you are not good. you are not the the personnel uh, who went to the site to collect the remains of uh, these uh, people, right? Yeah, they were brought to you. But uh, can we confirm how many injured people? Fifty four. Yes. 
about 54 50, injured. And so what's far, the, we've treated 54 at the accident and emergency unit. And what's the what's the nature of their injuries? Oh, oh, well, for some, they, they came in with some minor injuries. They have been treated and discharged. Mm. Others are not too good, though, but um, it, it can be managed. Others are in quite some critical conditions. But so, they're all out of danger. They, they, they are all out of danger. Right. Uh, thank you very much uh, for that update. The, that's the public relations officer of the Cape Coast uh, uh, Teaching Hospital.